If you want to make the best out of your new iPhone 14 or 14 Pro, these tips and tricks will help you learn all about the dynamic island, the new always-on display, camera settings and a few other useful shortcuts and more advanced tricks you may have never known existed. Hello guys, my name is Vic with Phone Arena and with the release of the iPhone 14 series, it's a great time to go over some tips and tricks, but first, Quick shout out to our friends from iBlazon for sponsoring a portion of this video. So let's start with the basics and you will find a time code for this video where you can skip to the more advanced parts if that's what you're looking for. First, the dynamic island. It's cool and it's always running, you cannot disable it currently. It will show you a waveform and album art when your music is playing, a quick tap brings you back to the app it's showing, while a long press shows widget style quick controls. Another cool dynamic island feature is that when you pair AirPods to your iPhone, it will briefly show you their battery status. Also, when you start a screen recording, the countdown happens right in the dynamic island, which is much better than the hidden count we used to have. Second, the always on display. Now, this is one feature that you can turn off. We tested the battery drain of having the always on display for 8 hours and it drained approximately 5% over this period. And if you start your day early, you might see an even bigger battery drain throughout the day with this feature enabled. To turn it off, go into settings, display and you will find the toggle in the bottom. But if you find the always on display just a bit too on for your taste, there is a hidden trick that you can use to dim it. You have to switch to a focus mode, but first go into settings, then into focus, select the focus you want this to work with, tap on options and enable the dim lock screen feature. And now that wallpaper is nearly completely black on your lock screen and you can still see your precious widgets. Cool. Alright, next up some camera tips. Don't forget that you can either long press on the camera app icon from the lock screen or swipe left from the edge of the screen to quickly open the camera app. The new 48 megapixel camera on the iPhone 14 Pro is a game changer. And to start using it, go into camera settings, tap on formats and enable the Apple Pro RAW capture and make sure you use the 48 megapixel resolution. Now you see a little RAW icon in the camera app, tap it to enable, tap again to disable, easy as that. Alright, but what do you do with those 48 megapixel RAW files? After all, these are giant files and you cannot just send them in social media or in Messenger. What I do is use the free version of the Visco app, import a RAW photo in that app and without even doing any edits, I export it right away, mere seconds. This way you immediately get a JPEG file that you can share that's much smaller and that still has all of that amazing detail of the 48 megapixel capture. Also make sure that the life saving feature on the iPhone 14 series are indeed enabled. To check that open settings then tap on emergency SOS and make sure that the call after serious crash toggle is enabled. Another cool feature is automatically bypassing those passkey capture codes in apps and in websites. To enable this go into settings, open your iCloud account, tap on password and security and you will find a new toggle called automatic verification. Another thing you can do on all iOS 16 iPhones is customize your lock screen. Long press on the lock screen, then tap on customize and here you can select a wallpaper or use an existing photo. The iPhone automatically recognizes if there is a person, a pet or just any object and creates this cool layered effect. Notice how this also animates in stages when you turn on and turn off the screen. And you can also shuffle a set of images throughout the day, set an emoji wallpaper or use one of the new astronomical screens that show you real life weather conditions. And you can also customize individual elements of the lock screen like the fonts. For example, I'm now obsessed with this font for the clock and other fonts kind of look a bit off to me. But my favorite new feature are the lock screen widgets. You have a spot for one widget at the very top row and then below the clock you can place four small sized widgets or two double sized ones. And a tap on the widget brings you directly to the app it is associated with. Currently only a few Apple apps support this, but soon we'll have many more apps join in. Apple also goes a step further and you can tie your custom lock screen to a focus, so the moment you switch to a work focus, you have a work lock screen for instance. 
cool. Also, you now have haptic feedback while typing on the iPhone 14. We don't know what took Apple this long, but it's finally here. It is not turned on by default for some reason, so you need to go into the sounds and haptics menu, tap on keyboard feedback, and turn the haptic option on. It's a very nice subtle vibration for every tap on the keyboard, it feels great. There are a few new features in the Photos app too. The hidden and recently deleted photos can now be protected with Face ID or a passcode, great for those images you don't want others to see. And you can also lock notes in a similar way, which is cool. Another privacy feature is that when you share a photo or a video, you can now see if the file contains your location. Here you can easily tap on the menu and disable the location to protect your privacy. And here is arguably the most important tip. Don't break your iPhone. And this is a great segue to this video sponsor, Casemaker iBlazon. Their Ares case for the iPhone 14 series offers superb protection with a shock absorbing TPU bumper, an unbending polycarbonate shell and air cushioned corners that protect from falls. And the case is drop test certified for added peace of mind. It gets the little details right with raised edges that protect the camera and the screen, plus it strikes a great balance between protection and looks. So with the transparent back of the case, that color you picked for your iPhone still comes through nicely. And the case comes with a built-in screen protector, which is also very nice and prevents scratches and cracks with no compromise to touch sensitivity. If you love the Aries, they also offer a version compatible with MagSafe called Aries Mag. And right now is the perfect time to get this case. iBlazon is running a 25% off hero discount for teachers, students, military, first responders, and healthcare workers when you shop on iBlazon.com. So check out the link below for all the details and get yourself an Aries case right now, or just type iPhone 14 case by iBlazon and Amazon and check all of their amazing cases and pick your favorite. So in the list of new features available on all iPhones running iOS 16 are a few tweaks in iMessage. You can edit or unsend the message within the first 15 minutes of sending it, but after that it becomes uneditable. Another neat iOS 16 feature is automatic subject selection from your photos. Just long press on an object, you can drag it or copy it to a messaging app easily. You can now also pick up live text from video. Just pause the video, zoom in, tap on the text and the selection is impressively accurate. Also check out the new built-in unit conversion. You can just say 35 miles to Siri and it will convert that to kilometers. Or type in an amount of money in a foreign currency and it would convert that to the default currency for your region. So these are the cool new iPhone 14 and iOS 16 features that we found. Let us know if you know about any other useful tips and tricks to make the best of those new iPhones. And thanks for watching, don't forget to show us some love by smashing the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. My name is Vic, signing out and I'll talk to you in the next one.